praises to the Lord. I give him on one accord, cutting heathens up with the sword. Pray a mother 144, feasting on him as a smoking board. Yahweh power, Lord of war, wake our people up more and more. When we ain't, we only shoot the score. All praises to the Lord. I give him on one accord, cutting heathens up with the sword. Pray a mother 144, feasting on him as a smoking board. Yahweh power, Lord of war, wake our people up more. And more. I'm here to tell the people who we are. What people are, where we came from, what our culture was, what we did, and what we need to do to get out of this condition today. That's right. We're here to advise our people, right? The black woman, the black man, Hispanic woman, the Hispanic man, woman and child, come back to your God. That's right. Come back to your culture. Come back to your nation, your brothers. But the end is near. Time is coming where we must gather together right. as brothers and as a nation. The Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16. Thus said the Lord, stand ye in the way and see and ask for the old path, right. where is the good way, and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. Right. But they so we are supposed to come here and ask for the old way and look for the old path, right? Where we shall find rest. We've tried everything else. Uh, We've uh. tried Kemet. We've tried uh, black power movements, right? Martin Luther King, Malcolm X. We've tried these things. We've tried marching with our enemies, gathering with them. We've tried that. And what happened to us? They murdered us. That's right. right. They destroyed our movement, right? They destroyed our cities. So that goes to show you, there is no joining with these people here. Uh, there is no rest for us here. Uh, that's right. We all we got. That's, that's right. right. But they said, we will not walk therein. But you're saying, no, nah, we ain't going to do that. Right? That's and that goes to show you even further that we have to be the people in this book. Because when you read in our history, over and over and over again, God punishes us, we come back, we go off again. He punishes us some more, we come back, we go off again, right? We don't want to do what it is that we're supposed to be doing to get out of this condition, to get our rest, to get out of this destruction, right? We want to continue it, murdering our babies, murdering our brothers, dysfunction in the household, right? We want to do what it is that we want to do. But we're never going to get anywhere doing that. We're never going to prosper as a people. We have to come back to the laws, the statutes, and commandments that the Most High gave us. All right, come This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 28, verse 15. Because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death, and with hell are we at agreement. So you see, that's all we're doing. We're affirming this contract that we have with death, hey. right? This uh. agreement that we have with destroying our lives, with destroying our children. Right? We had no love, no care for one another. These, this scripture here, these Bible, the, the books, the prophecies that was written for us, they're going to bring us life. Right? They're going to bring us life. They're going to bring us wisdom and understanding. They're going to bring us out of this captivity that we've been in here for all these centuries now, right? <laughs> and none of these heathen nations, these other nations, will be able to overcome us when we come back to this. That's in totality. Right. That's right. Uh. <laughs> Isaiah 28 and 15, because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death, and with hell are we at agreement. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. For we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood 
have we hid ourselves? Yes. We made lies our refuge, right? Come together, get along, be along, get along, right? Hold, let's hold hands at Kumbaya, right? Yes. What your zip code is, right? Why do they ask you these questions when you're filling out your credit app? When you're, when you're going to get your home, right? Because they want you to be locked in a box in a space where they can control you. That's right. Right? And we don't understand it because we too busy trying to love them. That's right. Right? Instead of loving each other, loving the most high by keeping his law, statutes, and commandments. It's Isaiah chapter 3 verse 12. That's my people, the children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. So you see what's going on in our community. The young children are one wild. They're murderers, right? They're thieves, right? They're not the kings and princesses that we should be raising them to be. They're not taught how to be uh, chaste, right? Knowledgeable, wise, right? Uh, tempered, right? Because they're raised by single mothers, right? Uh, that are out of their mind. Uh, and the society gives them power over the men. So if you try and establish your dominance in the household, guess what? She got the white man she could call. 911. Lock your ass up. That's right. Yeah. Right? So that's the daddy in the household. Uh, and, the, and the children at school are raising your children. I no, appreciate it. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 3, starting at uh, verse 4. And I will give children to be their princes, and babes shall rule over them. Right. Now just going back into it. When you put the woman ahead of the household and the man out, your children go wild. They become uh, destructive. Uh, right? They become unproductive. Right? They become unproductive. They become destruction to the society. They ruin your household name. They ruin your image, right? That's why everybody looks down on the black man, right? Because our image is being destroyed. We're not in these lost statues of commandments. Oh my people, they which lead me cause me to hurt. Right, so the people that are leading us are Christian pastors, our politicians, right? The teachers in the school, which is predominantly white women. That's right. Uh, right? Uh, hey, don't, don't forget about the rappers. Huh? Oh, no, yeah. the rappers, right? Uh, uh, which, you know, their brothers, a lot of them brothers raised by the same women we're talking about, by the same society. Three, 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 three. So they know get the bag. Right? Right. They out here to get the bag, get the money, and that's their salvation. That's their God. That's right. Right? the way of thy past. Right. So they go to show you all these, these images, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. these doctrines, which is these philosophies that are being pushed in these uh, these rap songs. You know, no, don't get me wrong. I like to listen to some music, especially, you know what I'm saying, I'm working out or whatever. But there's a time and place for that. And that's make-believe. That's not what real life's about. You know what I'm saying? That's not what you base your life on. That's not how you conduct yourself. Uh, uh, First Corinthians chapter eleven verse three. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. That's that holy order. That's that divine order that the Most High gave us, right? Uh. The head of Christ is God. The head of the woman is the man. Come on, that's that's right. right. Right? And the head of the children is the woman. Right? Come. right? That's the order that we're supposed to keep in our households. Right? Black woman. The head of Christ is God. The head of the woman is the man. That's right. That's right. You need to learn that and put that in your household. Right? right. And stop medicating your children. Uh, right? Let's talk about that. You women out here, you playing the mommy and the daddy, you don't know what to do with these children. So guess what? You press the easy button. You put them on Adderall. 
right? <laughs> you put them on anti-anxiety medication, uh. right? Then you, you say they have ADHD, right? Give them a, give them a football. Give him a basketball, let him go run out of the yard, burn off some of that energy. Come. Don't dump him up so he can't function. Right. Man. Right? You dealing with the most powerful man, woman, and child on the planet Earth. That's right. Come. You think they ain't gonna have a little extra energy? Come. Huh? They're highly intelligent. Come. You can't deal with them in a certain type of way because they take on concepts that you don't think they uh, they can uh, take at these ages. Because if you if you uh, don't account for vocabulary. Our children are the most intelligent children on the planet Earth. That's right. Right. They throw that vocabulary stuff in there to mix up the game, which vocabulary is just what you know. If you know it, you know it. If you don't, you don't. Right? They threw that in there to mix that uh, that pool up. But our ch children are highly intelligent. And what do, what do most, uh, when they go into that uh, ADHD, right? Uh, hyperactivity disorder. Most of them children, a lot of them when they come out, they're super intelligent, right? They, they operate in a high degree of functionality, or mentally. So you, you have to challenge them. Why is it that they can play the video game 12 hours a day, right? But can't sit still in class, because you're not challenging, it's boring as hell. That's right. Especially black boys, Hispanic boys. Right? We always interacted in a group activity. We would do things, right? It's interactive. That's why they love the video games. It's interactive, right? It's fast paced, it's challenging, it's interactive, right? So stop drugging your children. Understand how to raise them. Stop picking these men, right? Because you're you're the uh, the one that chooses the men you have babies with, right? Uh, Stop choosing the men that don't have the knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Stop choosing the men that's not in these scriptures. Uh, right? This Proverbs 3, verse 31. Envy no, not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Right. And that, that's a major, because you see the white woman doping up her baby, right? Uh, huh? You see her giving her, I, I give up. No, you're stronger than that. Sit there and work with your children. That's right. Right? Stop following after their ways. Right? Being indoctrinated. Right? This is why this is how you fix your children. Black woman. Stop drugging your babies. Come. Right? Come. Come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. That's right. Learn who you are as a princess of the most high. Come. That's right. Got any questions, black man? This Baruch chapter 4, verse 28. For as it for as it was your mind to go astray from God, so be return, seek him ten times more. Right. Uh. So when you coming back to this, when you you go off, right? You coming back, you need to be focusing this thing. Because it's not gonna be easy. It's like going to the gym. You ever went to the gym, man? I was uh I work out, man, I hit a six month hard, right? Then you fall off. You feel like, damn, man. I gotta go yeah. through all that again, right? <laughs> In order to get back on and stay on with the path, you gotta do it 10 times harder, right? Not only that, you got the spiritual demon Satan. That's right. Right? Trying to kick you off your path. He'll strike you with anxiety, right? He'll strike you with anger. Right? He'll strike you with lust or evil concupiscence. Right? He'll strike you down with all manner of wickedness. Uh, that's keep right. you off the path. He'll strike you with drunkenness. Right? Huh? Anything that you lust after to make you weak, to make you stray away from this truth, right? He'll do to bring you low, to keep you in the strike. That's his job. And you know what? That's good, because this is only for the strong men. That's, That's right. right. This is only for the men that are fit to serve the most high God. That's, That's right. right. This ain't for everybody. That's, That's right. right. The brothers out here and the families behind us, they have to be strong. They have to be willing to sacrifice the crab, the shrimp, the lobster, right? 
Not getting your tattoos. This stuff ain't hard, man. Grow your beard, brother. You're an Israelite, man. Come back to your God. That's right. That's right. Right? We have to do these things. Hey, brother. Brother, what's your nationality on your father's side? You don't know? Well, you know that's the curse in the Bible that the Israelites wouldn't know who their fathers were? Learn who you are. You might be an Israelite. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, or Syrac, chapter 5, uh, verse, verse 2. Follow not thine own mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart. Uh, verse 3. And say not, who shall control me for my works? For the Lord will surely re revenge thy pride. That's right. You not, and, and that should be a comfort to you, right? Because now you got a guidebook. You don't have to come up with your own way to do things and how to live and how to prosper. That's right. Other right. nations, the, the so-called Jewish man, he took our book, he took our law, statutes, and commandments, and he built his ass a nation with it. That's right. That's right. He became God. the most richest and most disgusting man on the planet Earth. That's God. Right? God. And he took our heritage. And left us here in the dust. Come. Right? And this is for us. We're supposed to reclaim it. And we're telling you what you need to do. Come. So All take right. comfort in that. Stop trying to do your own thing. That's right. Right? It's Acts 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Right. That your sins may be blotted out. Right. Right. That's right. Repent. Turn back. Right? You got a chance. You got a chance today to turn back to the Most High. Black woman, you got a chance to save your own soul, to save your life in this place. Uh, right? There's many dead in the ground. They don't have a chance. You're living today. You can take advantage of this today. Uh, Wake up. Uh, Come back to your heritage. Uh, to your people, your brothers, uh, and your sisters. Right. Right? Come back to what we're supposed to be. Come on up. That's right. Join with your brothers. That's right. That's right. Be humble. Right? Brother studying this thing day in and day out. That's right. So take your pride out of it. Stop trying to be the smartest one in the class. You read that in, in Sirach. Right? Stop trying to make yourself over wise, over over studied men. You know what I'm saying? Humble yourself down, become as a little child. And I and I always had these discussions, right? You sound back, man. You got any you got any questions? See you on the side? See yourself on the side? Where's your father from? Where's your father from? Your father. From? Where, you, know, you know what his nationality is? You know that's a curse in the Bible? Talks about it in Deuteronomy 28. Now let me give you one scripture. Right? One scripture. I wanna I wanna bring it, I wanna tell you that you're Israel. Give me five minutes. Five minutes. Uh, this Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes should be evil towards his brother and towards the wife of his bosom, and towards the remnant of his children. Which he should leave. Right. So that's the curse in the Bible. That men in our households would be would hate the wives and would leave the children. Right? So you see that. You talk to a lot of these brothers out here. Why are is that only happening to us? Right? Why is there these conditions and the lifestyle that we have? Oh, and you look all across the planet Earth. We're the only people that don't know what our original language was, how we dress, what we ate. Right, what our culture was, what our holy days were. We can go back to slavery, and then we can say what, where we, where we come from. That's a That's what I'm saying. So that doesn't give you anything specific. Well, there's over 250 dialects, over 50 countries in Africa. What, where are we? What is our culture? What is our? This Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, and throw in thy heart into the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, 
to all these curses to come upon them and overtake them. So these things that happened to the blacks and Spanish native Indians and the Americans today are curses to be on them. These are things that were prophesied in the book. This book was centuries before. Right? This book was centuries before. We're living it out today. And the reason that we don't know these things is because we've been lied to this whole time. Right? So, bring that out. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. How do we how do we get over here? What mode of transportation did they use to get blacks over here in the Read that again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Right. When I heard that, but if you said the Lord will bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Again with ships, by the way, where I'm, I spoke to Thou shalt see it no more again. Bring, bring that up. The precept is basically going into how uh, uh, Egypt is bonded. Yeah, right, we want right, 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 to see right. Egypt again. The, the key is uh, Exodus 20 and 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So Egypt, or Mizraim, or whatever. Batizarian. Is, Batizarian is synonymous with bondage, right? So that's kind of like when I say I'm gonna go get my belt. The kids know that's you got to put your ass on. I gotta go get my belt, right? It brings a parallel between Egypt and bondage because we were in slavery. So it says that we would not see our homeland again, but we would go into slavery, right? On ships. That's a curse. It's there brought it out in the beginning of Deuteronomy as a marker for us to find out who we are in the latter days. And another curse, like I showed you before, initially, was that we wouldn't have our fathers in the household when we leave, right? And also, the women would drive the men out of the household too, right? Because there would be enmity between the man and the woman, you know what I'm saying? So you, you gotta study these scriptures, and study these verses in the Bible to find out who you are, and how you're supposed to conduct yourself, and come back, how you got kids? Okay, when you have kids, you gotta be able to raise them both as a family, right? How do you determine, what, how do you determine what, are you a religious person? Or what are you following? How do you, how do you establish morality? Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I think he said he did. principle that we can use to build a society over time. 
know what I'm saying? So brother, read that fly. I know you gotta go contemplate that. Think about that as a as a whole. Go back to the continued scriptures, right? Learn who you are, because that's very important. If you operate, we just out here operating on our own uh, modalities, our own philosophies, we're never gonna get anywhere as a people. That's right? right. We need you here with us. Teaching right. these other people. That's right. right. Because you might have a good moral chip, but they don't. Then you might know where to go, but they don't. You might have your stuff together, but as a people, we don't have that. We need more brothers like you and, and like minded and gathering together. We need a support system. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so contemplate that. Check out that flyer. Give us a call. You can call us anytime. Any questions pop up and challenge us. Come, come back with some questions and challenge us. Right? Come. You're never going to hear that in the Christian church. Pat, you go up there trying to talk with that bastard, he gonna kick your ass out of that damn turn. That's right. Uh. Alright, so you're an Israelite, come back to the Lord's Day. You're strong, brother. Oh, Chris, uh, Khan. Uh, this is the book of 2 Kings uh, 17. Uh, let's see, starting at verse uh, 34. Until this day, they do after the former matters. They fear not the Lord, neither do they after their statutes or their ordinance or after the law and commandment which the Lord commanded the children of Jacob, which he named Israel. Right. So basically, niggas keep doing the same thing over and over again. Right? Not turning back. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Right here. You heard your Israelite before? What's your nationality on your father's side? We keep going back doing the same thing over and over. Definition of insanity. God. Right? Uh. And we keep beating this dead horse. Right? But we're going to keep beating this. Right? Until you get it through your thick skull. Right? Or you guys run out of time. Right? And then when the starvation of the world comes. Right? Or Jacob's trouble. Right? Because we're going to be out here. We're going to be out here trying to survive. We gather right. together using the wisdom that the Most High gave us to prepare. Right? We're preparing ourselves now. That's right. You out here living like this is not going to end. That's right. Even if you don't, even if you don't deal with the scriptures at all, whenever a society goes this left, homosexuality, the criminal, uh, there's this, there's this giant disparity between the rich and the poor. Right? When capitalism takes over. Capitalism doesn't operate on morality. Come. It operates on efficiency of your system. Okay? So, guess what? That means I don't need a human to check you out at Walmart anymore. Or to take your order at McDonald's anymore. It's going to be a machine. Right? And guess what you're going to do with no job? Right? The society is going to turn on itself. Because you're going to have all these halves small minority the large majority is have nots so even if you're not dealing with it it's this society is going down but we know through the prophecies and the wisdom that we get in the scriptures in this bible right what's coming right and we're coming out here to prophesy to you to come back to it hey brother you good brother yeah i'm good all right, brother. You get you a flyer? I need a book. Yeah, I have a book. You get you a flyer. Start with that flyer. Start off okay. with You got to read a book one page at a time, brother. <laughs> so start off with that. Start off with that one page. All right. That's about it. Two uh, Second Kings 17, uh, verse 35. With whom the Lord had made a covenant and charged them, saying, you should not fear other gods, nor bow yourself to them, nor serve them, nor sacrifice to them. Verse uh, 36. But the Lord who brought you up out of the land of Egypt with great power and stretched and they stretched out arms. Right here. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hey, study that. Watch the videos. Give us a call. You're an Israelite! That's, That's right! right. Uh. Him shall ye fear, and him shall ye worship, and to him shall ye do sacrifice. Right. So we supposed to love, honor, worship, 
give sacrifice to the Most High in that time, right? I can't wait until we out of this damn place. That's right. Right? I can have my time and celebrate with my brothers, with my own nation. That's right. That's right. We celebrate, we go to War Angel, or we go to Passover. It's a beautiful day. It takes all the stress out of me, right? When we gather together. Uh, Imagine if we have our whole nation as the sand and the sea uh, together, uh, chosen, living, in right. law, statutes, and commandments, right? I can't wait for the day I can let my children go out, I open the door, go and play. And I don't worry about some child molester snatching them. That's right. Or they're being right. murdered. Uh, or they're being shot by a stray bullet. Come. Right? Huh? Think about that. All that stress and pain that can be lifted off your shoulders. I don't, right. the next... no on that like I don't have to worry about the next. I don't have to worry about the next man, my brother, trying to sleep with my wife. Come. Right? Or my wives. Because I'm going to have wives in the kingdom. That's, That's right. right. Lord willing, we're going to have them before that. That's <laughs> right. But this, this is for us, right? We're not supposed to be living with this stress and this pain, right? We're supposed to spread our burden on these heat. That's right. They're supposed to be our slaves and our concubines. Right? Come they supposed. To. Hey, sister. Yeah. Sister, you're a princess of the most high. Take a slave. That's right. Come back to the law, statutes, and commandments, Larry. You are. That's right. Right. We're supposed to be inheriting these heathens. That's right. From generation to generation. My son is supposed to get 30 of them, 40 of them. Come, come. He's supposed to have about 80 to pass to his son. That's right. He get about 160. <laughs> right? They are putting their ass to work. Come. That's right. They're going to be on the Kakazar workout regimen. Right. Seven days a week. That's right. <laughs> well, not the seven. It's not, it's not <laughs> That's from the most high, though. Oh, praise to the most high. Oh, praise. Oh, I, I praise. will be praising the most high because I work out at seven days a week. <laughs> but this should go to the fact how much, when you think about it. Proverbs 13 22. You bring that up. You got one thing. Oh, I get it. Oh, I get it. Okay. That just goes to show you what kind of stress and pain that we have to deal with, right? And you're trying out here trying to get us. White man of past. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. And verse 66. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shalt have none assurance of thy life. And that just goes more into that. That's a curse on our people. Hey, brother. Hey. What's your nationality, bro? Hey, hey. You might be fucking here. We had no assurance on our life, right? You get pulled over by the police. Yeah. That cold feeling go up your back. Ah, oh, damn, what is he on? You know what I'm saying? Why is he pulling me over for? Right? They haunt our steps. Right? They want to kill us. And want to be like us at the same time. Come. They Come. bite our style. Come. They bite our dance moves. Now you got the uh, white woman out here twerking. <laughs> but then <laughs> it's disgusting. It's Proverbs 13, verse 22. A good man leaving an inheritance to his children. Right. That's right. A good man leaving an inheritance for his children. And you need to be doing this in the time of your youth. Black man, Hispanic man. This is wisdom for us as a nation. That's right. To build us over the years, over the decades. Hell, if we follow just a few of these laws, love thy brother as thyself, right? And we will provide for one another. This brother right here, he needs something. You come talk to any Israelite, brother. Where are you from, man? What's your name? What's your Hey, I get, I get. What do you know about it?
watch some videos on YouTube. I asked her, like, what is it? Oh, uh, I don't know. Okay. Okay. So essentially, it's about it's about how to Black, Hispanics, Native Indians, our biblical nationality, our biblical heritage. It goes back Indian. to this flyer, right? So you'll find some, some general information on that flyer. Uh, general synopsis, how we came over here to slave ships. Maybe our different artifacts, stuff like that, right? And then you got a number of them, you always count them. Take a fly, brother. Do you know Do you know about us coming over here? How do we get over here to slave did she teach you that in Deuteronomy? You came over on slave ships? Oh, I don't know. Have you ever heard that? Are you supposed to be a man? 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 Are you supposed to be
put your head up high and you conduct yourself that way. That's you're right. the best man on the planet. You're a god on here. That's you right. That's how you conduct yourself, right? This is the book of Psalms 82 and 6. I have said, ye are gods. Don't turn your eye when we say that you're God. The scriptures tell you, even Yahweh Shai said, that isn't it in your law that, you, that ye are gods, right? Yahushai told us that. So that's how we're supposed to conduct ourselves. We're better, we're built better, we're the best athletes, we're the most intelligent, we're the fastest, we're the best dancers, we're the best dancers, we're the best dancers, we're the best our organs are that, right? Our brains function that, right? Our melon protects us from the, actually, if we can recharge from the sun, right?